Hey guys, it's Shannon, Simply Shannon here. So for this month's favorites, I thought I would just do it a little different. So I have here my little box that I kind of switch out monthly or semi, you know, a couple weeks or whatever. And just really, this is what I use every day. This is like my everyday, instead of a little makeup drawer, I have, you guys are going to laugh, I have my little teal toolbox, okay? So this is what I keep my makeup in that I'm using for, you know, the. I try to switch it out like by the month, like, okay, the top is always going to be the same. Top's like my eyeliners, my foundations, and that kind of stuff. But at the bottom, I have my palettes, I have my blushes, my bronzers, all that kind of stuff that I want to use. So I thought for this month, I would just go through here and kind of show you what I have. So this is a monthly favorite slash what I use every day kind of video. I don't know how it's going to go, but this is what I'm going to do. So like I said, I got this cute little teal toolbox. I just love it. And it's metal. It's just like a real toolbox. I have it loaded here with all my Gilmore Girl stickers that I get from my Stars Hollow Monthly box. And so I'm just going to open it up here. I'm going to pull it out and we're just going to go through everything. So the first part is you have this little kind of tray that sits on top. And on this, I have, these are like kind of my staple stuff, okay? So I have, um, let's start with, I have eye primers. Now, I have quite a few in here because I am actually trying to use up some of these eye primers. So I kind of threw all of them in here. Gosh, I got a lot. Okay, so the ones I have is, I have the, um, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Eh, it's okay, but I'm still trying it out. I don't like that one. My steady true ones that I love are my Urban Decay eyeshadow primers. I have the anti-aging and the regular ones in this. I also have it Sin and Minor Sin. So I have those two. So I go through those depending on what do we use. And then some of these other ones I'm just kind of throwing in there to use. So I have one of the Ulta Beauty nude matte ones. And then I have these came with some palettes. And I'm like, you know what? Might as well just try and use them. This is the Lorac um, eyeshadow primer. Okay, and then I have two other little Urban Decay's originals, so that way when these ones are done, I can just grab these. So I kind of just have all these kind of thrown in here. I don't really use um, primer on my face too much, but I do have a little sample of the Refreshing Face Primer, the Too Faced RX, um, Hangover RX, so I am going to use that up. It came in, like I said, it came, probably came with something too. I just don't use primer every day on my face, but the ones I do, I'm just going to use that. So... I have, this is a must. I love, love, love this. This is actually my second one of these. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in this cute little pot that's like this kind of peachy tone. Love this. Use it every day for those under eye circles. So that always stays in there. Love, love, love that. Um, I have two foundations. One of them I'm still kind of trying. I actually used it today. I don't know how the shade is too much. I don't think it looks too bad. That's what I used today. It's the Tarte. Amazonian, Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This is in Fairly Light Neutral. So this is the one I'm trying out. But my one I've been using, I think I'm on my third tube or something like this. I love this. This is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. And it's also in Fair Light Neutral. So that's why I kind of went with the same one. But you guys can tell this is like almost gone. I mean, it is almost gone. There is a backup sitting right here ready to go. So I have my backups in here too. But this one, oh gosh, I love this one so, so much. I use this all the time. Just love this. Let me guys, let me know if you ever want me to go through my brushes. I have like three sets of brushes that I use here every day. So I have my big face brushes and some eye brushes and stuff. Let me know if you guys ever want to see that kind of stuff too and just kind of go through my my stuff with you guys. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I really don't know. I'm trying to do something. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I don't know. Moving on. Sorry. Um, what else do I have in here? So I have my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I love this one. It's actually almost gone. And I have a backup of this one kind of waiting in the wings, just ready to go. Um, for my eyebrows, I always use my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I am in medium brown. And this one I've been trying to play and layer over with it. I just don't know how I feel about it yet. This is the Foolproof Brow Powder by ben um, Benefit. So the way it comes, it comes with this cute little case. And it has a lighter shot, light shade that goes into a dark shade. And you're supposed to kind of do that little ombre eye. I don't know how I feel about it. I've been using it for a while. Um, it's got this weird kind of spongy tip applicator and then a little um, spoolie on this end. I, I do layer it on and I've been trying to use it. I think I like it, 
I don't like it by itself. Now, I have tried it by itself, and I really don't like that. But um, what's really nice about this, and I'm, I know I'm going to show you a mirror, but just go with me. It has a little stencil on there, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because of the lighting in here. But there's a stencil that if you hold them, hold this up and you put it on your eye, it's supposed to tell you where the shades go. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It don't work. But I am trying this out still, so and I've been using it for a good month now. And Some days I like it, some days I just really don't, so I'm still working on it. Um, I do have a little... Um, MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, just a little baby one I keep in here. Um, then I have, let's see, I have four different, four or five. I have five mascaras that I'm cutting into rotating through. Some I'm using up, some are like my tried and trues I just got to have with me. Um, you guys know I really like the Burt's Bees Nourishing Mascara. This is the brown mascara I use. When days I want to do like a light makeup or no makeup days, I do grab the brown. So that one's in there. Um, the Shock by YSL. This has definitely become a favorite, so I'm using that one. The Lancome Monster. I don't know even know what this is. All I know is big. But the Monster. I don't know. I don't speak French. It's by Lancome, you guys. I really like this one. This has a great full brush on it. And I'm usually not a person for these kind of full brushes, but I do like this one. So I'm using this one up. Um, Luminous Lash Paradise. I'm not even going to get into this if you guys don't know about the L'Oreal Mascara. It's amazing. I do not like the tar or the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex, but I really do like this one. Great, great alternative for that. And the last one I got, this is fairly new to me. I'm actually really kind of liking this one. This is the um, Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. So I have that one in there as well. So those are the ones I'm using. Oh, I do have a... A gimme brow, a little travel one. I don't really like this too much, but I will I will use it every now and then. I think it's almost gone, so this will be going away. I probably won't repurchase that. Um, I have my Urban Decay um, sharpener in here. Okay, guys, you guys are going to laugh at me. These are all of my... You guys are going to so laugh at me. These are all of my, my eyeliners. I have a lot of the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. Um, let me get the ones that aren't. So I do have two L'Oreal's of their um, Silk Kismi. Silk, Silk Kismi. Silk Kismi? I don't know. Eyeliners. I have the um, blue cobalt and the blue teal. So I do have those because I like those little pops of color. But all these other ones are Urban Decay eyeliners. I kind of have a problem and I love Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. Um, I have pink. I have blue. I have like... Quite a few shades of black. Um, this one is one of my favorites. This is Alkaline. I love this one. Um, like I said, I have a lot here, guys. It's crazy. I have Freak, which is this really bright kind of green one. Um, Woodstock, the, definitely the, sh the brightest pink I own. I have Chaos. I mean, you name it, it's probably in here. Junkie is my favorite. Torch, Roach. I mean... I have them. So these are what I use all the time. So I have all of these in here, depending on the mood or the look that I want to create. I have all those. Okay. And then the last thing I have here on the top is I, this is by Catrice. This is a lip foundation pencil. I actually really like this. This is a great liner or um, kind of just a base for my lips. And I use this quite often. I really like this one. Okay. So this is like, like I said, this is a little hot mess in here, but Maybe I'll put it all back in here. So this was the top layer of that um, that toolbox. Okay. This kind of always stays the same, that, that little drawer here. The rest kind of rotate out. Okay. So let's start with palettes. Okay. Let me grab the palettes out of here that I have. Now, I did literally just change this out um, a couple of days ago. I actually ugh, had a weird kind of night. I was in a decluttering mood and I decluttered everything in my collection from foundations to eyeshadow palettes, to blushes, to bronzers and highlights, which I've never really gotten rid of any lipsticks. You guys, you name it. I went through and gave so much either to my daughter, to my friends, or I, if it was time for it to go, it went in the trash. Whew, let me tell you. So why I did that, I really... I said, you know what, let me organize, let me go through. I'm actually going to use some palettes I've never used before in here. And so that's what I did. 
So I'm going to show you all the palettes I've decided to play around with this month. The first up, uh, this one has become a staple. You guys, I'm not going to get into it. It's my Jaclyn Hill palette. You guys know I love this. This is from the original um, Morphe whew, um, Go Round. And you guys, look, it's well loved. Like I said, I love this thing. So that stays in there. It's a staple. And I don't know what I... I, what I did, I just taped that to the top so I always knew what color it was and stuff. So I do love that. But you guys, dirty, it's it's all in there, but it's right there. The next one is new to me and I'm so excited for it. Oh, the next one is the new Urban Decay Metal Palette, which looks like this. This great little textured side here. And then the way to get to the palette is it slides out of this case and I love it. There's no way for me to really hide this mirror, so I apologize if I'm blinding you guys or anything um this one here so it has your kind of neutral side over here and then it has your little pops of color there I will insert swatches for you guys um but I really want to play around with this I don't like really an all matte look on my eyes I always like some little pop of shimmer or pop of color or something so I think this is going to be great to incorporate with other looks and that's how I plan to use this so I have this one and it is going in there for the month um, I do love the packaging. I like how it can only fit in there one way. It's not really going to fall out. I thought it was a little weird, the design, but I actually really kind of like it. I really do. So I have that one in there. Okay. Um, the next one is the one I've used today on my eyes. I love this thing. It's the Tarte Toasted. Uh, you guys, I have one of the first palettes my husband bought, bought, my husband bought me. It was a Tarte um Tartlet in Bloom, the pink and the purple one. And I love that palette. I really do like Tarts. I like a lot of their formulas. I don't like the formulas of like their Christmas sets or anything, but I don't like a lot of the formulas of any company's Christmas sets, Too Faced or anything like that. But this palette just speaks to me. You guys know I definitely love my Naked Heat palette. And to me, this just kind of screams it. It's not, re I do not find this a dupe for naked heat i find it's a very nice companion let me know and i will do a comparison video for you guys to um to compare them if you guys want to see them but i feel that this kind of goes more light where the um urban palette has a lot more darker and richer shades so i think these play very well together and can be a great companion so there is that one um the next one i have oh is Another staple, you guys. It's my Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. This is more for my cheeks and highlighting, but it's on my palette side. Oh, God, you guys, this is dirty. This has been well-loved. This has the Prosecco, the Champagne, um, the blush, the bronzer, and um, two blushes and a bronzer. I love this one. I really, really do. I travel with it a lot. You guys, like I said, it's well-loved. You guys can see that. So this one is in there as well because I wanted to pull that. This is one, okay, we're about to get real. This is one I bought and I have probably only used twice since I bought it. I bought it over a year ago. And you guys are going to scream and go, what, are you kidding me? This is the Modern Renaissance palette. I just, I when I bought it, I bought it, and I'll admit it, I got wrapped up in the hype of this thing. And I bought it and I was like, once I got it home, I'm like, what am I, what was I thinking? I, I don't what but i actually had to do somebody's makeup for um halloween this recently and i pulled out this palette and i used it and i was like oh that's the hype that's what everybody is talking about so i have made a point that i'm going to use this palette more and it's going in there and i'm going to use it and make looks so there you go that's why that one's in there i feel better i got that off my chest i feel better um, this one will probably always be in there. This is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is just great for to pull in some neutrals or, you know, if I ever need kind of just these kind of warm, cool. I mean, I can do whole looks with this thing and I have, but I always like to keep this as because it complements anything. You guys know this can, if you just want browns or you need extra browns, I always have this on the ready because I love it so much. So that's kind of like a staple. Um, and so moving on from eyeshadows, because the rest are not eyeshadow palettes, but I have another Becca palette. Um, this is their new one. This is, what is this called? The 
Esprit's Ski Glow Face Palette. This is my new love. First of all, the packaging is gorgeous. I'm sorry, mine is not clean. It's very dirty. But I love this thing so, so much. <sighs> Open it up, and this is what you get. This color right here has become my favorite, favorite brow bone highlight right there. That's Icicle. Wow, do I love Icicle. Oh, love it. Um, the blush is just gorgeous. I don't use the bronzer very much. Like I said, I don't bronze too much anyway. Um, but I do have it. The one thing I don't like about Becca's bronzers, they, they usually have some kind of shimmer to them. And I don't always want a shimmer. But they're... Um, these other three here of highlights are just gorgeous. So let's go. We have Rose Quartz here. Then we have Icicle and Winter Berry is the blush color here. And then up here we have Bronze bon, Bondi. Then we have Opal. And then we have Blushed Copper. And I do love that Blushed Copper. That's actually, I popped that on my eyelid quite a bit too. So I have that one in here. And the last palette is a blush palette. You guys... I went back to the Beauty and the Beast um, Lorac Blush Palette. I love this. This has beautiful pinks in it. Nice little shimmery gold if I want to play with that. But I love this one here in Enchanted. is probably one of my favorite blush colors. It's just a little perfect pink. And I do want to try the Rose and the Sea Beyond. I thought they'd be great for winter's little... Um, this one's more of a kind of barrier for me. Berry, berry color for me. And then this one up here. So that's the other one I've been using or going to use. I always have my um, Viramona color switch in there. Let's see. I got just a few more products in here. Da, da, da. Okay, let's go back to highlighters. So I also picked up the new Becca highlighter. This is in um, Gradient Glow. Oh, this is the one I've used today. Oh, you guys, this is gorgeous. This is such a unique... I love to blend them all together. You just get this unique, gorgeous color. That's it right there. I love this one. You guys oh, you guys know me and my Becca anyway, but I do really love this one. Um, this is another thing I've been loving, and I keep it in here. This is the Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding Brightening Powder. I didn't think I needed this or wanted this when it came out. The one thing is, I'm so glad it does not smell like bananas. Because if it did, I'd never use it. I don't like this. I don't like bananas. But I love... Where's my little brush that I use? I love to use this. And I just kind of sweep it up under these eyes. Kind of brighten it up a little bit. I love this one. I actually have a backup of this too. So whenever it ever it's gone, I have a backup. Um... Viramona I talked about. This is this is the um, powder I use. This is the Bare Minerals, their little matte, and then the glow brill the glow brilliant side. So I actually go, go in with my brush and just kind of mix the two and push it all over my face after I've done my um, foundation just to kind of set it. I really really like this, um, and I'm surprised I've had it for a while, and it's just. It's very, very pretty. The Brilliant doesn't really have that much of a shimmer to it, so I'm really glad about that. There's no, like, chunky glitter or anything like that. Um, bronzer, you guys, I went old school. I actually got the Butter Bronzer in here. I actually had to buy a new one, so this is a brand new one. So this is the bronzer I usually use because it's not too much for me. It's just a little, I just want a little bit of color, and this goes on great on my skin tone, so that's what I'm using. Another highlight, you guys know me in my highlights. The Mary Luminizer. I, this is the second one of these that I've went through. So this is a brand new one as well. I love to put this on my eyes. I love to put it on my cheeks. To me, it goes great um, in the inner corner and stuff like that on my eyes. Or I've used it as an all-over shadow. I love this thing. So I bought another one of those. And the last thing I have in here is a blush contour by e.l.f. It's mostly just for the blush color itself. This one is, which one is this? This is the Fiji Matte. And I just love that little gorgeous peachy color. Um, the bronzer is actually not a bad bronzer for me. Sorry, guys. I have something in my eye, it feels like. This, um, the blush color is just a gorgeous kind of peach color. I'm really into, that's kind of what I gravitate towards mostly is the little peachy blushes. And then this bronzer is really nice, and I like that it's matte. And it's not too bad for me. It's a little bit dark, but usually if I go pretty light, I can, um, I can pull it off okay. 
So that is my little toolbox that, like I said, it just sits here constantly on my desk. This is what I use every day to get ready. So that is what I'm using for the month. You guys know I have to keep talking because I have to talk lips. So we're not done yet, guys. I still got to talk about my lips that I'm using for the month. I have a little bag in my purse that I kind of switch out. And I'm just going to show you guys what I'm using right now. So let me go grab that for you. Okay, so this is the bag that I keep them all in. In my purse, just a cute little It Cosmetics. I think I got free, like an altar or something with a purchase. Um, so I took everything out of here. I'm going to show you. So the first thing, you guys... Don't judge. It's my poo-pourri before you go spray. I keep that in there. You guys know. Let's get real. You guys know. It goes in there. I have a little perfume, a little spray rollerball. This is, or it's a spray. It's not a rollerball. This is a little travel one. This is the Sexy Amber by Michael Kors. This is actually one of my husband's favorite scents for me to wear, so I keep it in there for him. Um, okay, so let's see. First thing I have, you guys know I love this. This is my NARS. Um sexual healing to me this is like my signature color i love it so much it's just a little very nude but has a little bit of shimmer it's perfect to just pop on with just about every look it'll go with so i always throw that in there um the buxom these are the um plumping kind of um what are these called plumping full-on lip creams that's what this is so this is the one in dolly one of their most popular staple ones i have that in there um, I picked up this. Okay, you guys, this is, there's two new, I got two new lippies here from Physicians Formula. And it's from their limited edition, um, since 1937 line, kind of like their anniversary line. So the first one I picked up is this lipstick. This is in, what color did I get here? Can I read it somewhere? This is in nude, I guess. Nude Char. I can't really see, but it's just this lipstick and actually, the only thing, I don't like tips like this. Do you guys like the tips like that? I don't care for them. But let me show you this one. It's just this beautiful little nude kind of color. So I love that. That's going in there. And then I picked up one of these, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish. Um, it's kind of like a liquid lip. It's actually what I have on right now. And it is. it does go matte, but it's not drying my lips out at all. Um, it has this really cute little doe foot with like the little hole in the middle there really like it this is the color like i said it goes on very pretty this is what did i get i got dusty rose so that's that color there oh dose of rose excuse me it's dose of rose so i have that one that i have in there um this one was in there but i think i'm gonna take it out for a while this is the jouet skinny dip just this great little shimmer kind of top coat i actually really like their formula by jouet um, this one was in there. You guys, this, I just cannot stop wearing this one. This is Spyla Rock again. It's that Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Take No Tales collaboration. This is the one in Sparrow. This has that kind of gray kind of purple tone that you guys know that I like. A little taupey gray purple tone. And then it has this gorgeous gloss that can go over it. And I wear this all the time. It's got this nice little kind of iridescentness. That's it with it over top. I love this. And I love that it has a gloss and a, a lipstick. So those two are in there. Um, the last two here, these are new. This is by Clinique. This is their um, lip shadows. Beautiful packaging, first of all. But you, you unscrew it, and it's this kind of powder, powdery kind of spongy tip. And you just kind of layer it on your lips, and it is gorgeous. That's it right there. Just kind of squeeze it in there. It's beautiful. I really, really like this. And then I picked up um, two of their glosses to kind of go over top. Um, it's just their long wear gloss, long last gloss wear. So I have Bonfire and Adore, and I love Adore. It's this beautiful kind of little nude color that just goes great over anything. So those are what is in my purse for my lips. I know there's a lot. You know I'm going to actually go through these and probably switch them. I switch them out usually weekly or something, but they all do fit in here. I promise. But there you go, guys. That's what I'm using this month in my um, toolbox. I think I'm going to do this for a while instead of week or instead of monthly videos because I don't always get a lot of new stuff. I'm trying to really be careful and slow down for the holidays and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be kind of shopping my stash and going through and changing out the toolbox every month. So 
that's what I'm going to be doing for a while for monthly videos. Let me know what you think of this. You know, if there's anything else you want to see or reviews, like I said, I'll do that Tarte and Urban Heat comparison for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you have a good one. See you in another one. Bye-bye.